Hey, the minibus has come to the ivory tower. Mm. Maka University. Mm. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be part of the alumni. Yeah, so of course, of course. Of course. <laughs> we, we, we promise you that we'll come to Maka University and talk about their innovations. Mm. Whether they are going to stand the test of time, will they benefit us? Uh, of course, when you read the papers, on like Kira Evi, mm. uh, Winsenga app, mm. uh, food science uh, technology is, 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 is uh, coming up with modifications of food and all this stuff. Rankings of Maka, uh, right now it's hey. ninth in yes. Africa. Right now we have come to seek the opinions of the students and some of the leaders here. But to hold it, the, the things that Makere University is coming up with, do you think uh, Makere has the impact to do that? And of course, Tupunyabana uh, from Lumumba Hall. Living stone! That's how I'll say, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. Um, but I'll, I'll ask you uh, to randomly tell us. Some of the innovations here have been shaped uh, that Makere University has come up with. To Echisoka, Makere, Chesinzo, Kubana Cho, Twine Motoka Jetwakora, Eiti Wachira EV, Ngekoze Sa, Amasanya Raze, Ochajinga and Chajinge, Omaro Jichajinga, Ochifugira, Engendo Kutuka Kilometer, Ngakumina Bidi, Era Omuyogo, Gumaramu Esawa, Ngasatu, Evanga Simu. Tikastago toko esa mafuta. Tikastoto malo di chajinga boti. We vurumula noge na joraga. Kira Ev is one of them. You're from IT. I'm from IT. You're from technology. No, I'm from IT. From IT, yes. I'm a computer scientist. Yes. They made a wind sender that yo yo ya ya lubuto abakazi bembuto. What does wind sender do? It's a mobile app. It's a mobile application that usually checks for the pregnancy. When when the baby inside. When when you use the phone, you can easily check whether the baby is fine or not fine. Mm -hmm. Can I ask for the people from Kavari, do you put the phone on the stomach? How does it so you put something on the stomach and then you connect to the phone, you can easily view how the baby is inside. Just the same way you watch a video on yeah. a screen. A screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it can, it can act as an ultra scan? scan. Yes. Okay. That's good. Uh, that's, that's fantastic. The other innovation that uh, we uh, have... A bomb detector was also made, basically from technology. Mm -hmm. uh, that was made basically to help during that period when terrorism started coming up. So basically yes. technology came up, uh, people of tech came up with a bomb detector, mm -hmm. which of course has benefited even the government because it has marketed Uganda. How does that bomb detector work? How was it built? It was detecting a bomb, but it was a robot. Mm. So the bomb was a big deal. It was a big deal. It was a big deal. It was a big How big is it? Katonu. Kati control yako, nga wetu natula wano, koka vereri nga kata ambula nga wano screen. Kawa katula gechiri wa, echiri eri. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that's, that's... Okay, what else have you... Uh, from IT, I work from Bachelor of Science in Computer Lado. Science. Mm. Um, we developed uh, an app uh, and it helps the police in controlling traffic congestion on the roads. Mm. Yeah, we what? We no, you're joking. You're Please joking. Help us. It's big. It's too big. It's too big. <laughs> An app that controls <laughs> traffic. <laughs> it controls. It helps the police in controlling traffic congestion on the roads. Uh huh. How, How does it work? It's uh. It's obviously the apps are loaded onto our phone. Uh huh. So let me, let me say you're in traffic. This phone is able to detect it, detect the traffic flow, mm. the speeds at which the the cars, cars are, are moving, moving on the roads. So you can when it detects that that uh, speed, you can send this information to the police center mm. uh, and then the police can deploy one of their Officer. uh, officers mm -hmm. and the venue. Wow! Yes. All right. that's, and that's brilliant. Some, something uh -huh. else, there is the Kayola bus that's coming up, something that can actually work for Uganda as a country because this innovation is supposed to help us and also at Mulag with the different researches that are going on mm. because the, disease, the diseases that maybe affect us might affect us in different ways. Mm. So they keep on reaching out to the people yeah. and seeing the actual situations. The, the, the Kayola bus, who, who is designing the Kayola it's bus? The, the same technology. people who designed the, the Kayola yeah. yeah. 
Awesome. Yes, wow. and there are also some other applications that are coming up. There, there was an exhibition, and there was an application that can actually rank different scores. Like you just log in on your phone, then you start doing test papers, you just upload air temp probably, then they change the money to coins. So you keep on uploading, then you do questions as many as you can, mm -hmm. then they rank the schools according to where you come from. Mm -hmm. So you keep on competing like with different schools, but <coughs> using different teachers from different places. Well, let's look at uh, something from Michael Nitegeka, who is the head of corporate relations at McKinney University College of Computing and Information Sciences. And when we come back, we'll look at how uh, we can increase innovation at McKinney University, but ultimately in the whole country, where is our future. Join the conversation otherwise on Facebook and Twitter. Take a look at this. McKinney has been involved in, in, in different, different projects. There's a lot that is happening in, for example, the College of Health Sciences, um, in the College of Engineering, Design, Art and Technology. That's why you had the Kira EV car taking place. Then the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, they are involved in a lot of crop science, um, improvement and enhancement, as well as the, the School of food science and biotechnology engineering. Um, close home in the College of Computing and Information Sciences, we're also doing a lot of work. The most recent one being the Wind Senga. Wind Senga being um, a maternal support application, mobile application, that turns a mobile phone into an ultrasound um, scan. I think the ordinary Ugandan is going to see, for example, the Wind Senga, because the kids are now working with even Nokia. So a company like Nokia can decide to produce phones that are already, that come embedded with this application. So an ordinary Ugandan will benefit from this. In other words, because like your community health worker can have this phone, and this phone will be able to do the analysis, the diagnosis, and then give a report. Now, if you can't read, it will have a, vo a vocal, vocal option. Industry in agriculture, no, I mean, that's a no-brainer. We need to head in that direction like yesterday. What is happening in food science and technology, where they are doing fortified food uh, production, they are turning dough, dough into a packaged material that you can take home. We, we are such a blessed country that, if, if you think about industries, there are so many industries we can start here without necessarily going into our typical manufacturing industry setup. The Ministry of Gender, Labour, should be identifying these guys. We should now have what you call regional incubation facilities. What is happening at the Uganda Industrial Research Institute should be replicated in all regions of Uganda. I had you murmuring while he was talking. Uh, any reaction to uh, that? Yes. Uh, particularly, um, I concur with whatever he's saying. On ground that you find like not every Ugandan can read, not every Ugandan can listen to English, but the machines which are made, like the Savo. So it caters for even someone deep in my district, like Kabramide. The Savo? Yeah. What's that? As in, you find that someone deep in Kabramide who can't listen to English. At least, you, I believe in that application, even there's where you can change the language. Just like Nowadays, technology has changed. Yes. You can change the language. Yes. So, a local person from my district, Kabramide, is going, the, the language English will be changed into Kumam. And yes. the person will be able to understand what the machine is saying. The yeah. IT guys. <laughs> obviously, the ultra scan is awesome. Yeah, everyone goes for that. Yeah. But do you it's, think that Winsenga has the potential to, to beat uh, of course. the existing technology? Yeah, of course it has. Why, but why you have a we have a problem. Of course it has. It's something that was innovated. It was approved. Right. But we have a problem with the government. The government can give in money for it to be initiated. Then when it took up staging and they have to push it further, they stop they there. Stop. And then it dies all out. That's the only problem. Like Kira EV, it really hurts me. I'm supposed to have a company that is producing, producing such them. cars here in Uganda. Man. But do you think we have the potential to yeah. actually manufacture? Yes, we do. 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 Nyabo. Nyabo. Seriously, at the level where we are, do you think we have the capacity to produce a Kira EV? 
Mm -hmm. One kilo EV car cost us thirty-five thousand uh dollars. -huh. Yeah, and if it was not for the president to give us a ten million dollar grant, mm -hmm. do you think we have the capacity? Yeah, you have. Most people who come up with these projects, when they're out of campus, that's where they end. If no organization has come up to take them, well, that's where they, they end up. Do you have Banana. cases of any, of any innovation that has come from Makerere and it's actually being used by the ordinary person? Any right. innovation? Because you've said about six innovations. Mm -hmm. Do you have any that you know that? I want to watch because it's because of Marco Pines. Marco Pines is such a lecturer. What is Marco Pines? Doctor Sir. Yeah. No, he's called Doctor Sir. Doctor Sir. Yeah. So they're already in news and they're benefiting people outside there. Yeah. Okay. I, I actually, I was, I was uh, proud to be part of uh, the team that distributed Marco Pines in Gulu. So the answer is concerned. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but Macapad <laughs> is sustainable papyrus. It's, it's, uh, it's so, very cheap. It's one thousand shillings. Uh -huh. But then tesa kuchindu cha wemi sengecho. Siambe yes, chitia bantu ba fa ba wansi. <coughs> Botu nuli la hospital ova marua liroge tuina muguanga lino. Mm -hmm. Matono nyo agari riferu. Ate botu nuli la muguanga lino bantu ba meka abasobo lokube na akasimu. Kariko camera and Gakangi can be. Funa application, eh? About to bunch. Government is over Kuzima Maroa, you got health center one, two, and three. Nay, I want to have a singer named Mubiaro. Osama Mutuatina said there's an air time. Nanga in Akasimu. So the application, eh? Singer government is to our. Oh, was government here fitted to our. At the Banabana Bako living to be no. Banaba soon cast up a ticket and Timakari was good to say a chin. Yes, I was in a window gate and Tiabana Bako the Motoka. Tebali Mugwanga, you know. Abakora Wini Senga, Bakomi Ojo, Ateva Genda. Makiri University has a, a research budget of 1.5 billion shillings, and half of that goes to the School of Postgraduate School. We have to increase research in Uganda. Government is emphasizing studying science now. What do you think are some of the other things that are hindering these innovations, in, especially in academic institutions like this? The gender also. Yes, the government is blamed. Yena faba and we say they will move. Today we say we government. They will move quicker. Uh huh. We sit and wait for the government. Simba wakatia. Simba. Some of us we have innovations, but we don't have the money to push them forward. Yes. Who will provide the money? Really? So that's why you're on mini buzz. Uh. You're, you're given a chance to tell whoever it is watching uh. what you're working on, and then they would be like, huh? Ah, and they would snatch you and probably support you, yeah. minus government. So, so now, feel free mm -hmm. to tell us what it is that you're working on. Oh, apparently, we mm call -hmm. a project here digital migration process. Mm -hmm. so we, are, we are migrating from analog to digital. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on it apparently. But there are even other projects that my classmates are working on. Yes. So generally, I'm talking on behalf of all of us. Right. Yeah. But to Gamba, to the proposal, government is a youth fund. Magenda kutua sente. Kwa wandi kabi propose bi bi. Kwa kesi si. Kwa kwa. Kwa kesi si. 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 Kwa kesi why don't they see us through? Yeah. Let them let us boost our production. Mm -hmm. Let them let's not make one car and then they leave. Yes. They, they should also take a step of marketing us. Maybe their marketing has not has not been good.